Welcome back this is part 3 of. What if Issei and Rias had a powerful child? Alright let's begin. Chapter 4. Quick Exercise. TCH. This is really annoying. I was upside down using my index finger to do some push up. Checking my body as it was currently not doing what I wanted it to do. Usually when I'm doing this I wouldn't struggle for a month without using senjutsu or with the injuries but now after I return back in time my body couldn't even last for 5 minutes and furthermore I tried using my sacred gear but I was only met with an excruciating pulsating pain that I couldn't bear. Damn it. I suddenly flick my finger, pushing myself upward and instantly I was on my feet. I cracked my neck as I was thinking. This is troublesome I couldn't use my sacred gear and was weakened to this point. How will regain my strength back him? I wonder if I could ask grandfather to find me a place for me so that I could check my full capacity, cause if I try doing it here it may cause some serious damage. I continue to give light jabs and kicks in the air which made a gush of wind that moved the curtain. After that I tried meditation to see if how much control of key I could do. My aura suddenly get more and more intense but I tried maintain so that it won't leak. I could sense everything from my surround. My hearing was so sensitive that I could hear every footstep in the castle. Okay nothing is wrong with my body, it's probably the backlash from going through a time barrier or something. Or maybe because this is just a restructured body it just need adjusting itself. God why didn't you explain everything to me? Though I know it was partially my fault since I was rushing him. Well whatever the CA it still wouldn't change the fact that I become extremely weak. Now what should I do? I wonder if I could join Kuo Academy. I couldn't change my appearance since I can't maintain it but I could still try since I'm pretty smart and I already graduated to that place. My meditation was interrupted by the arrival of Grafia, I opened my slowly open eyes and spoke. Grafia have you been able to find what I have requested? Yes Hiro Sama, here is the pair of glasses that you requested. If you are done I would like you to come with me in the dining hall. She said as began to stand up and walk towards her. I reached my hands and grabbed the black pair of glasses that she had brought. It was semi-circle black glasses which perfectly fits my style. All right lead the way Grafia. I gesture my hand as to say, let's go. Scene change. Damn it. As I follow Grafia I could feel the maids and butler take quick glances. Please stop staring at me like I'm sort of pet. Well this is quite nostalgic seeing the walls of the castle again. The walls was filled with all sort of decoration which empathizing the elegance of the wallpapers that was used. After minutes of walking we finally arrived to our destination. The dining hall was enormous that was filled with maids and butler to both side. I scanned my surroundings and saw people that I know. Of course there was my mother and grandfather yet Uncle Sirzex was nowhere to be seen. Huh is probably doing something important. There was also a young boy who seemed younger compared to my appearance, this was once my king, Milica's Lucifer. Like his father he managed to acquire the title of Lucifer. I was his pawn until I managed to be a high class devil and acquire my own evil pieces though all of my peerage died in battle. Then I felt chills in my spine, I saw as my grandmother Venelina who had strict gaze upon me. E, I'm doomed it seemed that I made her displeased. I remember every lecture that she forced me to do so that I could have some manners. My god I want to escape place right now just remembering that. Oh my is this the child that Rias brought? He's quite well mannered with his posture. Said grandmother as she scan ever inch of. My being. Eek. I have to maintain my posture. Stay calm stay calm. I put my hands behind my back to show some prides. Ha 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 I didn't expect you to have such manner. Why don't you introduce yourself to us, I think Venelana would be surprised. Said grandfather having a wide grin while grandmother seemed slightly confused. I'm really nervous and couldn't stop my palm from sweating. Breath hero breath. I I apologize if this may sound unusual but, my name is Hiroshin Grimori Hiodo. You may call me hero for short. I said with my utmost elegant while giving a short bow. Everyone in the room was speechless except grandfather who was grinning and my mother who was flustered. I lifted my head and saw the widened eyes of grandmother. Hiodo. You mean Issei Hiodo the one interrupted my daughter's wedding. This is quite surprising. She put her hand on her face and seemed to be in deep thought. Ha 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 apparently he came from the future. Hiro why don't you take a sit and eat with us. Gladly. I swiftly moved towards them and sat in a very decorative chair. 
The food that was serves is like all you can eat buffet. Oh my god I haven't tasted any food for a long time. I managed to survive thanks to my sacred gear absorbing the attack of that horrifying monster which fuel my body with energy. Oh how much I miss this. I couldn't help but tear up in happiness. As I began to enjoy the meal, grandfather began to speak. First of all I would like to thank you for saving my daughter from pending danger and welcome you to our family. He raises his cup wine and gave me a toast. I want to taste that wine so badly. Control your drool. Stay composed. Ah I can't I want to drink alcohol right now. I paused for a moment from envy and began to respond. Quote ellipsis dot. It was no problem at all. I am thankful for taking my statement seriously. I couldn't force you to treat me as your real grandson since you just met. But I'm still glad that you're treating me as one. It was natural for them to not see me as their grandson cause they just met me though I'm happy that do. Milikas was giving me glances as if he wanted to ask something. Ha 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 don't worry about it I am glad to accept you as my grandson. Geez I forgot how late grandfather is, he take everything too fast but hey I ain't complaining. Dear, I think you're going fast again. He was scolded by grandmother and she then turned her gaze towards me with curiosity. Hero kun can I call you Hero kun Why yes of course, grandmother. I nervously replied. She smiled and spoke in gentle manner. Hero kun since you're apparently my grandson from the future, could you tell me more about your father, Issei Hyodo? My daughter haven't properly introduced him to me and I only managed to snuck a peek on his face. M my father. If I'm being honest he wasn't around much since he was busy from his work and I did resent him for a while but as I grew up I began to appreciate his dedication for us. I hated him for not spending time with us but I couldn't blame him. Even though we haven't had the best relationship I did love my father. He died protecting us till the very end. I I love him wholeheartedly. My father is man with conviction. If he desire something and focus his goal on it he will surely able to achieve it whatever hardship he may face. He's the kind of man who fulfills whatever on his mind though it's mostly about boobs he he he. I took a glances at my mother who seemed to be flustered. I see thank you, Hiro Kun. No problem, grandmother. I continue to enjoy my meal but I couldn't take Milika's glances at me. It was extremely uncomfortable. What is that you would like to ask, Milika's? Um you're my cousin. Right. I just want to ask what is it like in the future? Ah I see he was just curious about his future since I heard that when he was still young he was already planning everything. This is my king everyone. I couldn't tell him about the war but I will tell him about himself. The future him. I couldn't tell you everything cause it will take a very long time but I will tell you this at least, that you are once my king and I was your pawn. After doing many battle we managed to become very powerful. You were able to gain your father's title and I become a high class devil and I'm currently a king though I haven't used my evil pieces cause at the time I was very busy training. I explained the thing I could. He looked at me with amazement while everyone was speechless. Wow is that true? Will I be as great as father? Yes as long as you continue what you are doing and maintain your humility. Ha 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 it seemed this child's future is very bright. Hero kun I wonder if you lost all of your evil pieces. I just reply with a nod cause I can't tell him the truth that I had actually my own peerage but all of them had been killed. I wonder if I could find some of them. If I'm not mistaken few of them are alive today. Alright if I have free time I will try tracking down some of them. Well hopefully they accept. For now I have to regain at least 5% of my old self strength. If that's the case I'll have to try asking Ajuka to give you a evil pieces. That would be wonderful thank you. After I get my evil pieces I'll make sure to find them. I need as much help as possible but have to train them again him. Now this is really frustrating not only I have to regain my strength but also my peerage. But this a bargain if I could get a second chance. My thought was interrupted when my mother began to speak. Geez you guys act like I'm not here. Well hero kun I wanted to ask you what was I like in the future. My hero. That's the word I could describe how much I admire the things you have done for me. When I'm sad or afraid you were always first to be there for me. I, I regretted many things but not being able to protect you is one of my worst regret. I looked at her with contempt gaze and said, you were my savior. When I was young I wasn't able to control my power and hurt many people. 
I was afraid of not being able to control my power that I tried running away and told myself I was cursed. But you and everyone in my family had believed in me and told me that I wasn't cursed. It was a gift. Everyone gasped except Milikas who was busy daydreaming. Oh my I didn't expect Rias to become such a carrying mother. I wonderful now I'm really excited to officially meet Issei. Did I say something that I shouldn't say? I looked at my mother and her was red. Yup I shouldn't said that. This is embarrassing seeing your own parent blush. A-I-I-I-C. Well I have to go now or I might be late to school. Farewell. Mother, father. Then there she go. Well now I'll have to talk to her later about joining a cult research club. When I was young my sibling and I had managed the club after our parent. It was fun time but I mostly remember getting chased by girl cause of my adorable appearance. Hiro-kun I wondering what are your plans since you seem stuck in this time. If you need anything just me, alright. Matter of fact I do. First I need the evil pieces and try finding some candidates. Next is I have to check my current strength without holding back, if you have a place where I could try using my full strength that would be great. And finally I want to try applying for Kuo Academy as a second year if it's alright, grandfather. I see there are special training ground that is used for young devils with a very thick magical barrier, I will send you there with the guards. As for Kuo Academy I might able to but it would probably take a few days is that enough? Yes. That would be enough it would be wonderful for me to refresh my mind in the library and also train my body. Good thing he didn't ask why I wanted to be second year. I wanted to try and spend some time with my father since I couldn't in the past. After that we had many conversations concerning about myself. I told everything I could, everything that was good. I couldn't tell them about how the world had become a complete nothingness or a holy war against the otherworldly gods. Which we call, evil gods that started the war. After breakfast I was lead into a carriage which was pulled by, demon horse, and with me was a young guard named Damien. He wore a thick dark full body armor that ha covered his entire being except the head. He was good looking guy with upward spiky black hair. It had the atmosphere of a big brother. I'm sorry for asking but may I ask the name of young master. I was sitting in front of him. I was only listening and didn't take my eyes in the window since I was busy admiring the beautiful city that had rows of houses and businesses. There many low class devils who was looking at the carriage with curiosity. They probably recognize that this carriage is from Grimori family. This is really great just seeing the citizens busily moving around. TCH this is more a reason I need to regain my strength back if not this people will have to face those, void gods. I wonder what my mother is doing. If I have to guess she's busy with my father, I should stop thinking about it or I'll die of embarrassment. If I get my evil pieces who will be the first I try visiting. My queen is currently in the Amazon and I can't go there without talking to the Olympian which isn't an easy task. My first knights is currently very young and I can't bring in the battlefield for now but on the other hand my second knight is currently on Kyoto I might be able to visit there. My first rook I will have to wait until that thing appear in my second rooks is probably near kuo academy i have to find him after he form his sacred gear my first bishop am i wonder if that woman is still on that night club well i'll check it when i have time my second bishop is currently sealed cause of her unstable power i'll have to visit her home after i regain my sacred gear as for my pawns i wasn't able to find anyone i don't know why well whatever at least i know what i need to do my thought was interrupted by my guard who claps his hand to get my attention. I'm sorry I was just deep on thought. What is it that you need? Ah I was just asking if I may know the name of young master. My name is Hiro Hiodo. You can call me Hiro Sama. I gave him a smile to calm his nerves. Ah nice to meet you Hiro Sama. I was wondering why are you going to the training ground despite being look so young. Ha 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 I see well I cannot tell the reason but I am much older than I look. Also I was going there to see my current capabilities since I was badly injured from a battle. I explained to him, this person despite being a low class devil I could feel overwhelmed talent. I wonder if I could make this person as my pawn. No I can't since I need to back to the human world. Young master we have arrived to our destination. Shouted the coachman. I quickly get out of the carriage while Damien followed sweet. I scanned my surroundings and saw that many devil are currently trying to get in. The training ground looked like a gigantic coliseum with both modern and devil aesthetic mixed together. 
Walking towards the entrance I was met with the gaze of the low-class devil with both envy and curiosity. They didn't do anything and just stare in the distance. I was able to enter smoothly by showing a medal with the Grimori sigil on it. Upon entering the place was filled with machine that had devil guarding it. This is a magical machine that create a space of your choosing to train and is protected by a very thick barrier. It was like how raiding games works but smaller scale. Well I have to change my clothing since I don't want to destroy it. I muttered and use magic to change my clothing that I much rather wear. I was using a martial art pants and a white tank top with a jacket that I tie on my waist. Damien was amazed by my shredded muscle with scars all around despite looking so young. Everyone was staring at me as they saw my sudden appearance. Most of their whisper is, who I was and, why is I am here? I didn't pay attention to them since was fixated on checking my current strength. I reached one of the machine but was stopped by the guard. Halt, young children shouldn't be in this place said the annoying bulky middle class devil i looked at me with deadpan expressions i was getting piss this guy's just called me a child i hate being called by others that unless i know them personally but i contained my anger and just ignored him hey i said stop in flash he was on the ground with no recollection of falling he tried searching but i already entered the mini dimension and now i was in a small forest i couldn't hear any wildlife and i'm the only one here this is perfect to test out my current full strength though hopefully the barrier could hold on. I closed my eyes and took a long deep breath and, began. With a quick motion of my body, it had caused the surrounding trees to be destroyed. I'm currently not using my senjutsu and was only using my natural base strength. This is disappointing. I'm getting less and less as I test more of my current strength. In the past my base would have destroyed the whole forest and only the ground remains but now only few trees was getting destroyed. Are you shitting me? I need take time and see any change that I may have. I took a stance that put my foot back preparing for a kick, and with a swift strike the whole trees I could see was destroyed and only the stump remain. I continue doing some kicks and punches after I get more stable understanding of my current body, I began testing my other abilities. First my senjutsu. I sat down in lotus position and began concentrating. My senses become sharp as blade, I could feel every fiber and root of at least 10 trees. Hum only 10, I was able to do it at least the size of the whole Kyoto. I continue concentrating and began to scan my meridians if there is any damages. If you don't what meridians is, it's the pathways of key that flows through the body and if any damage sustained then you won't be able to use key properly. There aren't damages either huh? All right, let's see how powerful my magical power is currently is. I turned my direction to the enormous mountain and started to use my demonic power though I didn't use the power of destruction since people will start questioning who I am. With a basketball-sized demonic energy, I shot it towards the mountain and boom. It was obliterated into dusk. The top of the mountain was completely destroyed. Not bad. It was more than expected. Now let's go all out. I tried using my senjutsu to the utmost limits of my current body. I could feel the surging energy of the key flowing throughout my body. Alright this is enough. I took a taekwondo stance and put all my power in my legs. With a quick swings it not only destroy the mountain but also create a small ravine. I continue to do my martial art regimen and every time I do an attack it destroy some lands. Okay. Feel every single thing on your body. Feel the surrounding and flow like water. Become like water. I concentrate to sense every fiber of my being. I suddenly got lost in my concentration that when I opened my eyes, the whole's place was just a wasteland. Yes at least I could hold my own even without my sacred gear. Oh shit I forgot about my familiar and my artificial sacred gear. I should test my summoning if it still works. Ah I haven't done this for a really long time. A magical summoning appear before my eyes and appears was my familiar, Rama demonic crow that had pitch black feather as if the knight and a third eyes above his head. He flew and porch on my should while he cares his head with mine. Yes yes I have miss you as well but I couldn't summon you since you would have died. Now then why don't you take your human form? I told my familiar and he nodded. He went in front of me and black mist gradually appear enveloping Ram. After being devoured by the mist it slowly died down and what appeared was a androgynous looking man with slender body and pale white skin. His jet black hair length reached his shoulder and it split between his forehead. 
He wore a tailcoat clothing and the most prominent about him is his third eyes. Donna Sama, how may I be of service to you? He spoke in a very feminine voice while kneeling. I see so there aren't any wrong with my other magic. For now you will be on standby, I just wanted to see your human form. I have to test something and you may take your crow form again. As I said that he nodded and took his crow form perching on my shoulder. Now then let's see if this works. My golden eyes glow and saw everything from above including myself and wrong. I was using my artificial sacred gear, Eye of Horus. This uses the power of the sky god, Horus making me able to use clairvoyance. It's functioning correctly but I don't how far is the area I could see. I'm currently in a small space and couldn't tell my limits. I have to find an opponent to do it. After 5 hours of training and testing my firepower, the training ground was unrecognizable from the damage I'd caused. This will be enough training for today, I have to go home and start studying. As I left the training ground every devil was looking at me with awe. What happened? I tried looking for Damien and thankfully he was near. Damien why are the people looking at me with awe? I I. Hiro Sama when you entered and started using your strength, everyone was amazed with your power despite being so young. Furthermore I told the guard who tried stop you that you were the guest of Grimori family. Explained Damien. Wait there were watching. Well shit I should have know this would happen. I could hear everyone whispering to each other again but this time with admiration. Well whatever, I need to go home and read some books. With Damien I went home but I didn't notice someone was eyeing for me. Who was that kid, and wasn't that my uncle Sigil? Asked a very muscular man with lion-like hair and violet eyes. Behind him was group people, this was his peerage. We do not lord Sarah Ord but by the display he shown it seemed that he was at least a new high class devil said one of his peerage i'll have to ask him when he return he seemed very strong and good at manipulating key said the cousin of rius sarah ord bale he grinned and left to train i want to spar with him chapter 5 watchers i am glad you have arrived safely said a gentle voice the person face wasn't visible for it was just a pure light that illuminate the dark empty space he wore a simple cloth that cover his body Though his face cannot be seen but you could tell he was frowning. He overlook a thousand of circular screen and focus his attention at particular boy who display magnificent show of martial arts skill. This was of course Hero who was training his current capabilities. I apologize for adjusting your body because I couldn't make a body strong enough to maintain your immense power. If I had tried doing. So your body may have been destroyed before you could even move. Said the gentle voice though there no one to hears his mutter. If Hero was brought back with his full strength then his vessel wouldn't withstand it, it was like putting the whole ocean into a water balloon. You could already guess the outcome. I cannot interfere with your mission but I believe you would know in time. I'm sorry this all I could do. Said the calm voice. Suddenly from the darkness approached two people. One had five horns that curved slightly upward as if piercing the sky. It almost looked like a crown's. A long pitch black hair that was neatly comb and ripped body that had ancient runes writing all over it. He had four eyes with black sclera and red pupils, fourteen bat wings on his back and vicious shark-like teeth that grin. The lower half was thick goat legs that was covered in thick black fur like bison. The other one was a young child, a handsome man and old man yet this was the same person. He wore long white robe that cover his entire body with gears and clockworks and on his right hand hold a cane with hourglass on the top. Do not worry about it. That child may be able to help us erase the rift that connect this world to that world. Beside you did give him that sacred gear and allow him to use it. Said the monstrous man. You may be right but I cannot be too sure. The rift is getting bigger and bigger. Said the gentle voice. You worry too much. We did pretended to die so that we could focus our attention to those outsiders. Do not worry I have already maintained that timeline. We must focus on controlling those creature at bay. Said the robed person. Everyone turned their gaze on the young man with anticipation. Child your power is much more than you realize. I hope this time you would be able to help us depend this world. And I'm sorry I couldn't help you in your old timeline. Said the gentle voice. Ha 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 don't worry I did gave him my incarnation. I do hope that he'd be able to manifest it. Said monstrous person. I will try my best to maintain the timeline that he created. Said robed person. Scene change. Achoo. 
I feel like someone is talking about. Well I couldn't blame it since the little show that I display while testing my power. I'm currently in the carriage with my guard, Damien who's still trying his head around about what had happened. He seems curious about something but afraid to ask. Hey what is that you want to ask? I asked Damien who snapped from his thought. I I was wondering how you able to that even without using much demonic power. I have a very weak demonic power and thought I couldn't become high class devil yet what you have shown me, it gave me hope to grow strong. I wanted to learn it. Said Damien with a burning determination on his eyes. This eyes are very rare to see. A man with conviction and tenacity. I like it. HMPH. Before I answer your question I'll ask you a question. Why do you seek strength? When you become strong how will you use this strength? This is usually the question that I ask when I was training young devil. I was also in the underworld military for a while and become a training instructor. Damien thought hard before speaking. I want a power to repay the Grimori family for their kindness. They do not discriminate the weak and help them instead. That's why I'm a guard for them, though I feel useless since all of them are very powerful hehe. <laughs> I want to become strong enough to be their shield even if one time use, I would gladly sacrifice my life for them. Explained Damien. This person goal is just and right. He may be weak in magical power but I could feel his overwhelming potential. I should try training him. Your thought is just and clear. I already seen your burning determination. I would gladly train you for the time of my stay. As for the question how I do it, I would explain it to you tomorrow. After that we have arrived to the Grimori castle. I left Damien since he need to take his post. I should take a bath after all that training, I'm drenched in sweat. As I was walking through the corridor I saw Uncle Sirzex accompanied by Grafia. Oh hero kun it's nice to see again. I'm sorry I wasn't able to join you for breakfast since I had a urgent business attend to. You seem to have finished from training. Yeah I was just checking my current strength since it was a bit unstable. I want to ask how strong are you? I couldn't feel any overwhelming demonic or magical power within you but I could still feel threatened despite being a Mao. Said Uncle Sirzex as he scanned my body. Ah you wouldn't be able to feel it since I'm currently suppressing my power. B but please don't ask for me for a spark cause currently I'm not your opponent. If I guessing right I'm at least above a ordinary high class devil but below a ultimate class devil such as Sirzex. I I won't try sparring with you but I am at least slightly stronger than a normal high class devil. I explained as I see a slight disappointment on his eyes. Good thing I rejected him since I'm still trying to adjust to my body. I see maybe next time. Oh also hero kun I would like you to show me your sacred gear since you didn't show it to me earlier. Ah I apologize but I am currently unable to use it. I don't know what's wrong but every time I try to use it I received excruciating pain. Pity. I'll see you next time then, Hero Kun. I still have work to do. He said as he went on his way. For now I need to take hot bath cause I smell like shit. Scene change. Ah this is why I lived. I was enjoying a hot bath in one of the gigantic hot spring that owned by the Grimori family. Oh my god this old man has finally able to enjoy his time. He 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 I'm an old man despite my appearance. Yes I'm an old man. I really hope that I could regain my strength back. I looked at my left hand and saw a golden ring. My loved I swear I'll find you in this time. I will come find you after I eliminated every single threat. Hero Kun if you don't mind if I join. I looked at the entrance and saw grandfather ready to join. Yes I don't mind. I replied as he smiled at me and entered the hot spring. Two old men just enjoying their free time in a hot spring. Wait that came out wrong. Hey Hero Kun I wanted to tell you that I was able to transfer you to Kuo Academy with the identity that you're Rias cousin. Your class will start two days from now. Oh that's great. And you don't need to ask I will surely protect them. I said with wide grin. We enjoyed chatting. Talking about all sort of things mostly about me though. All sudden he brought out. A bottle of wine. Oh god please I want some. See could I have a glass. He nodded and gave a wine glass. Finally. I move to tears as I taste of alcohol. God I love wine. Hee <laughs> hee I see that you really enjoy alcohol. Oh right I managed to get a evil pieces for you from Ajuka. Oh I might start finding them then huh. We continue enjoyed our time as we talked about where I'll be staying in the human world, I plan to just rent a cheap apartment or stay in the woods. 
After that I went to the personal library. For now I need to refresh my mind. It took me a while to pick some book but I was able to get the most basic study for second year. I was able to read all of them and personally enjoyed arts and science. Well my hobby is painting so it isn't strange for me to enjoy it. I didn't eat lunch with them since I was busy studying and thankfully grandmother let me. Another 5 hours passed, I finished my studying and went to the dining hall for supper. It wasn't as eventful as the breakfast earlier, so I'll skip the details and say that I'm currently on my room. I have 2 days to adjust my body before I go to school and at least teach the basic of my martial art to Damien. I couldn't teach him everything by then but I think he'll be able to figure it out on his own. For now I went to sleep as I was very tired. Scene change. 1, 2, 1, 2. I'm currently on the training grounds. All the demons from yesterday has started making rumors about me. Well as long as it does not include. Child, I wouldn't bother beating the shit out them. Also the guard had become respectful and afraid cause now he knew that I'm not someone you shouldn't mess with. Alright. I was doing push-up with my index finger upside down. I turned my gaze and saw Damien who was both nervous and awe. He wasn't wearing an armor since I'm going to try teaching him. He just wore a simple commoner clothing. Hey Damien I won't be able to teach you everything since I will have to go back to human world. So better sure to engrave this to your man. I grinned and continued. First of all I want to ask, how willing are you in getting stronger? I'm willing to do as long I could repay the Grimori. Ha 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 this guy's is really fixated on helping my family. Well I'm not complaining. Alright then you better survive, this. I suddenly release all my killing intent at him. Cold sweat run through his face as he tried his best to breath but the pressure I'm releasing is all of my intent. I'm amazed that his still has the tenacity to stand, most people that I train couldn't last for 10 seconds. This is simply unbelievable. Alright that's enough. Ah. Ha. 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 He was gasping for air while looking at me with fear in his eyes. I simply smiled and congratulated him. Nicely done. You managed to stay consciousness despite facing such a powerful pressure. I put my hand on his shoulder as I said this word. My master did this to me and I almost pissed myself from fear. I wonder how's my master doing right now. I'll visit him when I have time. I waited for him to calm down and start meditate. My senjutsu slightly improve and now able to sense as more things. I I'm all right now. I open my eyes and glance at Damien who managed to compose himself for just few minutes. This guy's tenacity is ridiculous. All right let test his combat capabilities but first. Now I'll answer your question from yesterday. I am strong because I have trained hard and use human martial art that enable them to fight. Furthermore I use an ability called senjutsu. It is similar to magical power but it uses ki instead. I explained. Hiro sama what is ki in senjutsu? Damien asked. Ki is a life force that every living thing have including devil. Senjutsu is a skill that uses ki to enhance one's body or create small projectiles. One of the training of senjutsu is by meditating. Come and sit down. He followed my instruction and closes his eyes as well. Now feel ki the within your body. Slowly you'll feel the key from the surrounding as well. Be careful and not absorb any malice of the world. I opened my eyes and saw that he was able to sense and release key. It wasn't perfect but to be able to do it instantly is unbelievable. I am speechless. Alright that's enough. He quickly stopped and stand up while opening his eyes. You're amazing to be able to that. Alright why don't we try fighting and don't worry I will give you a handicap. I just need to analyze your current skill. He simply nodded and I put my hands on my back. I gesture as to say, come at me, and he quickly runs straight at me with full speed. Careless. I just simply move to the side and trip him. Tenacity and talent is ridiculous but he's pretty damn stupid. Hey, don't just run straight at your enemy, you need to let the opponent attack you first and exploit his attack. That's why I was able to quickly dispatch you. I explained. That is the basic rule of my fighting style or fighting in general. We continued to spar for an hour and I was able to grasp what fighting style that fits. We took a short break and I was deep in thought. What's the best fighting style for him? Boxing. Nah it lacks any impact. Judo. It would be fitting for disabling but he's the type of guy that likes fight to head on. Well I can't give my fighting style cause it need a lot of practice. HMPH. Wing Chun. 
It would be best for him since he doesn't have the strongest strength. Hey I will show you a fighting style and you better memorize it. I menacingly grin and he flinch in fear. I summon a reinforced wooden dummy and took a stances. I took a deep breath and, begin. Every move that I did an aftershock followed sweet. I immersed myself at my movement, sensing everything in stopped time. I have become one with my body and surrounding. Damien didn't blink and did what I told him to do. After my trance was done I checked and saw that behind the wooden dummy was a wasteland. I turned my gaze at Damien who already starting to do the moves. I do hope he master it cause I can't. My fighting style is more on my legs so I couldn't properly teach him Wing Chun. My eyes bulge as I saw that his movement was flawless, he display magnificent use of Wing Chun. This guy is a prodigy. Hey sorry for doing this but you need to get your own training ground because I'm going to use this place. He simply nodded as he left in a trances, his probably memorizing the move set. Now then I'm alone, what should I do? Ah now I know. Shadow boxing. I close my eyes and imagine a opponent. The first person who came to mind was my master, Saraorg. I slowly created an illusion of him to use a sparring partner. Alright let's dance. I saw in front me was the figure of a muscular man who took his stances and with high speed that seemed teleportation, attacked from behind. I quickly tried to block by using my forearms since I couldn't dodge but with his immense strength I was pushed back. I flipped backward and tried standing up but he was already in front of me. My instincts kicks in and quickly dodged. I used my legs to attack him in the face but he took it head on and grabbed my leg, slamming me in the ground. Even though I called this shadow boxing, I was using an illusion to make it feel real. I took I step back to analyze what to do yet he didn't give me time to think and instantly move beside me attacking my liver. Shit. I used this opportunity and twist my body grabbing his arm and use my other arm to attack. Using his own forces against him, I managed to knock him for only a split second but it was enough. I took my taekwondo stance and, attack. I gave everything I had since I won't be able to defeat him if he managed to wake up. It was frontal assault. Bang. 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 After that I barely managed to defeat him though this far from the real deal. Thank god it was only an illusion. After I woke up from my trance I saw the damage, it's safe to say that the barrier had slight crack. That's enough training for now. I left the training ground and searched for Damien. Holy crap. I saw a big screen that shone Damien using Wing Chun while using Senjutsu. He seemed to have mastered the basic. I waited for him to finish and started to meditate. Good thing everyone didn't want to approach me. Few minutes had passed and I heard someone called my name. Hiro Sama. I saw Damien walking towards me drenched in sweat. Good thing he really engraved the move set. Alright when I'm gone you should continue what you were doing and I promise you'll able to get strong. But remember to be careful when meditating. I explained as we began to go. Back to the castle, I have to study since tomorrow is the start of my class. We arrived shortly and I took another hot bath in the hot spring. Oh it's the best to be alive. Scene change. I was studying in the library when suddenly Grandfather Zeodicus arrived holding a bag, inside is the evil pieces that I requested. Nothing particularly happened that afternoon or that evening so I'm going skip over that and start the other day. I was doing some stretches and see that I have improved slightly when I could hold my push up to 10 minutes. I repeated everything I did as yesterday with Damien doing some training and shadow boxing. Though now some devil have started calling me a nickname, White Death Child. Hey hey fuck you for calling me a child. I was so pissed that I wanted to find who started calling me that and rip them to shred. Stay calm. Stay calm okay. Now everything going great and I'm at least recovered 3%, I was now thinking going to the human world. The next day I was preparing for my school to go to the Kuo Academy. I wore my uniform with my glasses on and inside my uniform is a black turtleneck shirt, it's my kind of style. I also didn't wear my necklace or my earning for personal reason. Oh not bad not bad at all. I thanked grandfather and grandmother for the time I spend with them but I have to go back. Damien wasn't happy but I told him train what I taught him and when I came back I will have a spar with him. Now I'm riding the train to go the human world. After few minutes I arrive in the human train station and since there weren't any vehicles I could ride. I took a deep breath enjoyed the air of the human world. Now I could try teleporting there but. Alright let's run there. 
I put all my strength into my legs and boom. I was running as a fast bullet train. Moving swiftly not making any sounds as I step on the ground. Yes finally the training paid off. After few minutes I arrive near the Kuo Academy while concealing my presences. The place was beautiful with high class gate and buildings. Well the Grimori did help build this institute. Everyone was staring at me, curious as to why I was just loitering in front of the gate. I saw two women and tried asking them for directions since even though I have my classroom number but I wasn't sure where it was. This is the past after all, the school changed in the future. Um excuse me miss but can I ask you question? I asked one with short pink hair. She seemed to be a second year and looking at her body frame she know a bit of kendo. Oh what is it little boy? Said the pink haired girl. This is annoying being called a little boy. I can't be mad at her cause she's know the truth. Why am I cursed to be forever Shota? Quote dot dot. Ah yes I was just wondering if you know this classroom number. I shown her a piece of paper and her was widened when she saw the note. This is my classroom number. Are you a new transfer student? Yes I just got transferred today so I don't know much about the place. Would you like to accompany me, milady? I said in a flirting way which made the girl blush. While her friends with brown haired ponytail suspiciously looked at me. Ah oh, I'm sorry if it came off strange, I'm just trying to adjust to the environment. It's okay we just like to know your name first. Said the pony tailed girl. Aw oh shit I haven't talked to many people for a long time, I forgot to introduce myself. Where are my manners my name is Hiroshin Grimori, the new transfer student. It's nice to meet you. I didn't add Hiodo since I'm currently acting as mother's cousin. For a moment both of them was in silent but suddenly burst with questions. W what is your relationship with Ria Sama? Are you her sibling? Why do you look so young? I'm sorry ladies but we may be late if we continue our conversation here they suddenly realize and quickly went to the academy they gesture for me to follow them from behind to find my classroom this is really nice seeing the academy again suddenly i felt a gaze looking at me i turn and saw the gaze of my mother who seemed shocked to see me well i'll talk to her later after a few minutes we arrive in the classroom that had the same number before i came i greeted the teacher and he realized that i was the transfer student he bickered at me to come in. Everyone eyes was locked towards me. I saw that there were only three men in this classroom excluding me of course. I saw the bewildered face of my father who seemed to have seen a ghost. Everyone this is the new transfer student that I mentioned earlier. Why don't you introduce yourself to them? Gladly. Greetings everyone my name is Hiroshin Grimori. You can call me Hiro for short. I'm looking forward to working with you. I gave small bow. Everyone was speechless and processing what I just said. After a few minutes, I was barraged with the same question as the two girls from earlier. Pipsqueak, what's your relationship with our beloved Ria Sama? Said the bald looking guys. This guys seem a big pervert. If I see this guys eyeing for any of my mother I would beat the shit out of him. You should be careful on what you said baldy. First of all I'm her so cousin. This motherfucker just called me Pipsqueak. I want to shred him. Stay calm, Mr. Grimori you may take a sit in front of Mr. Hiodo. I thanked him and proceeded to sit down. All of girls seemed curious about me but I ignored them. I felt a taping on my shoulder and saw my father wanting to talk to me. Hey kid are you the one who helped us from the fight with Kokobiel? He said quietly as he could. Wow he can't even use magic communications. I simply nodded and whispered. I'll talk to you later. I bluntly said. I could feel the stare of everyone, the girls looked flustered while the men are envious. God please stop them from staring. Few hours later the bell rang and the class was over so I was planning to do some exercise but the girls all rush at my face with questions. What is Rias like? Why do you look so young? Do you have a girlfriend? He 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 a new lady killer have arrived. Hey new guy what boob size do you like? I heard female voice and saw a woman with glasses having a creepy smile. Geez are all the people here perverts. Me, I don't have any particular type as long she has a nice personality. Apologies ladies but I have to do something. The girls seemed dissatisfied. I approached my father, who was with two other guys. The bald one and a guy with glasses. They exude intense lustful desire. Want to eat with me, also can you take me to a cult research club? I gesture at him to follow me but I was approached by an innocent looking blonde girl. 
Um W where are you going with eyes Kun? She asked shyly. HMPH. Mother Asia. I haven't noticed her scene I was so focused at my father. For now I'll bring her as well. I wonder why she looked so scared at me. Maybe she was still scared because of that trash cocobile. Scene change. We are all inside the occult research club. In front of me are the people that I know too well. Everyone seemed perplexed at my presence. Hey I don't blame them but here goes nothing. All you may already know about me from mother. Yes I am from the future that yet to come. Everyone was speechless except mother who already confirmed about my statement. Hey a fly might enter you mouth. E-H-H. W-W-W wait you're telling me I get to bang Bocho. Oh boy straight to the point huh. I saw all the woman here blush including mother. He had such perverted face that made me embarrassed. Geez don't you have you any decency. Yes you did as. Well as everyone here. Everyone yet again was speechless. Mother Kaneko wasn't particularly happy. E. R R R R really. I I managed to be become a harem king. Yup my father is complete dumbass. He seemed to lost in his little fantasy. I couldn't help but make a disgusted face. Tanjiro disgust face. The pervert seemed to have lost his mind. Said mother Kaneko in deadpan tone. I couldn't agree more. Hey wait you're included. Era tilde era tilde. So I would be sharing eyes coon with Bocho. She suddenly hugged father tightly while having a seductive smile. My mother also decided to join and hugs him to the other side. Akino I told you to not hug him just like that. His mine not yours. His my precious pawn and you shouldn't be that touchy. Mother said angrily. Bruh this is ridiculous seeing them like this. I'm starting to regret telling them about the future. It's not fair his my eyes coon too. And joined mother Asia. I could see their breast clinging to my father's body. What the fuck? Doesn't the bra work? Their breast was just bouncing all over the place. Hey 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 his drooling. Both me and mother Kaneko frowned at the sight. Enough. I couldn't take it anymore and force them to stop. I release a bit of my killing and everyone flinch. Thank god they stop I don't know how much my heart could take it. I just wanted to tell them why I'm here. Geez I'm old for this shit. I just wanted to ask to join the club. Thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed see you next time okay bye.